Right, let's show you how breadcrumb looks in the water. This is just uh, literally put some bread in the blender, blend up the bread into crust, uh, into a powder. So you're left with this. Add some water so it sticks together. I'm just going to show you how it looks in the water. This is what I use for uh, when I'm using a uh, ground bait feeder, feeder fishing for small coarse fish. So you can squeeze it up into a little ball, drop it in, here we go. Ball breaks up, leaves a massive trail, and gets the fish in a frenzy. The fish go crazy. It's a great bait, I've caught loads of fish on it. Because as you saw there, it uh, starts as a ball and just leaves a massive trail so um, I hope that shows the advantage of using breadcrumb it's cheap, incredibly cheap um, obviously you can make it yourself or a two kilo bag is three quid a lot of people buy expensive ground bait or stick mixes but breadcrumb is just as good gets a fish in a feeding frenzy, see the tench there, love it Golden horse picking off the floating bits, there's other rud. All the other carp are grubbing around on the bottom. Grass carp. So yeah, that's the advantages of using breadcrumb. Cheap, simple, leaves a big cloud of um, food in the water to build up the swim. As you, you can think, that is a tiny sprinkle on my hand and look at the, the sort of spread of bait it's made over the swim. Now if you use a big handful and throw it in your bait, uh, in your swim, that is going to really get the fish going. You see they, they just root around for every last crumb. They love it. Two, two kilo sack will last you a few sessions and it costs three quid. So that's my little tip for you guys.